Welcome back, everybody. It is lunchtime. So for lunch today, we have taco meat left over from supper the night before last when we had tacos. Cece's having that. Titus is here for lunch, so he's gonna have some tacos. I think most of the boys are wanting some tacos too, or either Hot Pockets. Uh, I don't want a taco. Okay. Cheese sandwich. Peanut butter. Okay. I'm making a tomato sandwich on one of these croissants here. There's Cece's. Let me make Manly's peanut butter sandwich. So yeah, I had a couple of these left over from the breakfast croissant puff that we made. And yeah, it never got any better. It remained mushy and I agree with what some of y'all said. It either needed to be baked longer. The recipe said 30 minutes and I actually did leave mine in there for 40. But I'm thinking it probably could have used maybe 20 more minutes. But it is really good. I mean, if it sets and would come out really good and not just fall apart, it is very, very good. Anyway tomato sandwich on a croissant going down over here. So I got almost everything cleaned up from lunch. I drained the beans, rinsed them. Now they're in some fresh water. Roosty's right out. He's right out in the back. Is he on the back door? No, he's in the yard out there. Crowing with happiness because it stopped raining. So they're in fresh water now. I'm gonna fry up some fat back to put in there with them. Now for fat back, you don't have to cook it first before you add it into the beans. I just like to do it that way. You can totally chop it up. Put it in here uncooked because these are going to be on the stove for let's see it's a little bit after one um at least four hours so the fat back would cook you know in the pot with the beans but i like to cook it up first so i have about two pounds of pinto beans in here for these two pounds i'm probably going to do about six pieces of fat back and i just fry it up a little bit over here and then we'll put it all in i don't chop up the fat back i just leave it in the whole pieces but you can chop it up just in case you didn't know, when you get Lux pinto beans, or maybe most canned pinto beans, I don't know, but I know for sure Lux pinto beans. When you get to that little piece of something, something in there that you don't know what it is, it's fat back. That's what it is. That's why they taste so good. Now, when I put fat back in here, that's all I'm gonna put. No other salt, pepper, you don't really need anything else besides the fat back. Okay y'all, it's a couple of hours later now. Mosquitoes are already biting me out here. They're bad today, really bad today. They were not bad yesterday or the day before. We had a couple of cool days and they were not bad at all, but it's warming back up today and they are in attack mode. Anyway, I was out here sweeping the porches and I just had a thought. Why don't I taste that pepper that's already kind of big? I mean, of course it's not ready yet, but why don't I just taste it? Then I could figure out what it is. So here's what happened if you've missed the past few videos. We have the grow bag garden, five grow bags and a little pot over here that has mint in it. This just fell right beside me. Yes, it did. Signs, signs of fall. Anyway, in this grow bag, we put three pepper plants. All three were supposed to be jalapeno peppers, but one of these is not. Apparently, they mixed them up whenever they were putting out the plants at the farmer's market because that's where I bought these. I bought them when they were already little bitty baby plants like this big. We bought three of these and three banana pepper plants. This one's not doing too great, but as you can see, these are the exact same peppers. These, however, are not. At first, I was thinking bell pepper, but I looked at some bell pepper plants and I don't think that the stems the things on here are strong enough to like big enough the, the bell pepper ones look really big so i'm leaning more towards habanero peppers anyway if this is a habanero pepper i will know immediately so we're gonna try it and see okay i came inside to wash it off and to have a drink nearby in case i need it and titus called so he's gonna watch the show too <laughs> you ready are you ready he's pretending to be frozen y'all we do this to each other Okay, here we go. 
I think it's a bell pepper. Maybe it's not big enough to be hot. It's not hot. It's an unusual garden out there. <laughs> the seeds look like they're gonna be bell pepper seeds. I think it's a bell pepper. I don't know. We still haven't solved the mystery. One, two, go. Is there a watching <laughs> yellow cornmeal, one cup of flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. Sissy's gonna be making some pumpkin muffins ever since I made those a couple of weeks ago. Everybody's been asking for more pumpkin muffins, but we're just, this time we're just gonna use this quick bread mix right here. Now we need one cup of buttermilk and y'all, Great value switched their buttermilk to this old school carton here, which is, you know, it's fine. But the problem is most of the time you're not gonna use this whole carton of buttermilk and then it's not, you know, it's kind of dangerous. If there are lots of people in and out of the refrigerator all day, buttermilk could very easily get spilled and that would not be good. So I transferred it to this, but there was still a little bit more in here since the first time I used it. So we're gonna go ahead and use this up first and we'll finish it off with what's in here. This is a little bit too thick and that happens sometimes if you use buttermilk instead of regular milk. So then I just eyeball a little bit more. Sometimes I'll use a little bit of whole milk instead of more buttermilk. I'm gonna cut this bag open for Cece. And then I'm going to get the chicken out of the freezer. We have this Tyson crispy breaded chicken. On the back it says 10 servings are in here, but it does not feel like there are 10 pieces of chicken. So either they want folks to share or something, I don't know. So I'm also gonna make this bag of Kirkwood chicken because I haven't been back to the store yet just to grab another bag of this. Okay, the moment of truth. How many pieces of crispy breaded chicken? Five, it's five y'all. eating and I wanted to tell y'all about that Tyson chicken. It's not that great. I tasted a little bit of the one that was left to see why nobody was loving it. It's kind of dry and not a whole lot of flavor going on. So yeah, I don't think I'll be buying that again, which actually I didn't buy in the first place. I ordered great value chicken, like some kind of Southern style chicken and they didn't have it. So they substituted the Tyson kind. Anyway, now it's cleanup time. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. 